It's a live stream of the solar eclipse. I'm going to show you real quick what I'm doing so that way if you would like to do it you can make one at home. It's a uh, welding mask with 5% uh, tint, double layered. Don't peel the protective film off of it. Just two five pieces and then a cheap uh, welding mask. And then you got to have the um, camera light on so that way when you show it up here on film it will actually show up when you record or try to get this thing on here uh, there it is you can zoom in and it'll show up even better there it is almost 50% Try to auto focus. Auto focus is garbage. There we go. Let's just leave it a manual. So, this is the 2017 solar eclipse um, from Michigan. Said that we weren't going to get a full eclipse, uh, maybe about 80 90% at most. It looks like it's pretty well centered uh, from its path and where it's going to cross and um, looks like we'll probably get the full effect. Sorry I don't have any uh, professional equipment to uh, hold steady, just my arms. Although this uh, eclipse actually looks pretty decent. We'll see how much it actually moves while recording. Now later on throughout the um, eclipse itself, you are able to look directly up at it once it is in full eclipse. That is the only time you are advised to go ahead and take off your protective gear, um, whether it's sunglasses, welding, or makeshift uh, solar eclipse um, gear that you had bought for this event. Uh, you guys can go ahead and just remove that when it is fully eclipsed. Right now it's not advised. They stated that because the sun rays themselves, these uh, radiation or the solar rays, uh, can actually burn a hole um, through your eye. Not like literally a hole, but internally there'd be a hole. I believe they said it's in your retina. I'm just reading online. Helicopter passing by. I don't think we can get that on film. Nope. Once again, this is the solar eclipse 2017 from Michigan. Looks like um, the sun is going to be obstructed majority half on the bottom of it. The top looks like it's more than likely going to be exposed. You can see from where the, um, the moon is entering. It looks like the majority of its covering is going to hit the bottom and leave maybe a slice up at the top, unobstructed. Unless I'm just staring at this thing for too long and I don't know what the hell I'm talking about.
I wonder for those people uh, who are attempting to do this without any kind of filter or any kind of protective equipment for their cameras, uh, if there's going to be a spike in warranty claims for Samsung or iPhone or LG or whoever the phone makers are, providers. See, we're probably around 60% remaining. Again, you gotta have your camera's uh, phone light on for it to um, reflect some lighting back as you've got this uh, welding mask being utilized. I only just tried a couple different things to see what would work. I tried to get it on film without using the light and it just shows up as a big blur. Something you are not able to actually put on film. So because I was able to uh, figure out that using the lighting off your phone as well as the welding mask and those filters, uh, it showed up pretty damn well. You guys tell me, for something quick at home without any... Uh, extra purchases I was able to make this make do with what you got well, it looks like it's starting to take a little more form uh, it does look like it's somewhat uniform I don't know we might get a total eclipse even though in Michigan it said it wasn't going to be a total. And the time right now is 1.59 p.m. Ah, oh, flashlight turned off. Why? How do we get it back on? Uh, camera light being used by camera. What? Well, turn back on, would ya? Ah, oh, this is not gonna be good. See, that's what it looks like when you got no light on. Oh, this is horrible. Yeah, this is horrible. That's what it looks like when you're not using the camera light. Ah, it's just a big blur. The other way was better. I don't know why uh, the phone decided to cut out. Maybe it's getting too hot. Maybe this thing's about to explode right here in my hand. <laughs> Either way, it's being recorded. I got phone insurance. I guess I can stop the video, let it cool off, and come back to it. Well, I got one minute left on the video, guys. We'll see how much more of an eclipse we've got. I'll come back and uh, do a part two. I don't know why the flashlight cut off. I wonder if it shorted itself out, got too hot, and turned itself off. Might be able to use a flashlight, something to drop some light back on the camera for it to stay uh, lit up on this side of the lens.